Joining us live is Dr. Heidi Fabnell, a neurologist at the University of Sydney. Heidi, really appreciate you making the time for us. Thank you. Can you just tell us a bit about this project that you're embarking on? What is it that you're trying to achieve? Well, thank you very much for having me first and foremost. Um, basically what this research is looking at is at the moment in MS clinical practice, we have access to MRI, which is really important. And when we're sort of monitoring um, disease and also monitoring treatment, we use whether or not there's the existence of new and or enlarging um, MS lesions or plaques, and also whether or not there's new contrast enhancing lesions appearing. And that's kind of where we're limited. But when we actually acquire MRI scans, we get a huge amount more information. And often patients themselves ask, how many brain lesions do I have? And is my brain shrinking in terms of size? And these questions we simply can't answer with the information that we currently get. And this is where our AI technology we hope will help us to be able to answer these questions. We want to make these available in the clinic to help the clinicians and, of course, the patients. And then we want to see how much this extra information actually helps us in our clinical decision making. And because this is something that is affecting more and more people, and I guess that uncertainty at the beginning is something that you're trying to, to stamp out. I understand we're seeing accelerating rates of MS in this country. That's absolutely right. The um, epidemiology is is showing that certainly the, the rates are sort of gradually increasing and the exact cause of that is not always completely clear. Part of it might be that we're picking up um, cases earlier, we have more access to earlier diagnosis, particularly with more access to MRI imaging and things like that. Um, but also there seems like there's maybe some environmental factors that are potentially um, contributing to that as well. So certainly the rates are going up and the more information that we've got to work with um, to help um, patients through that process from diagnosis, prognosis and management, of course, we want to have access to everything that we can. So, Dr Bignall, I think a lot of Australians at the moment are pretty worried about AI, a bit scared of, of the future world with AI. We've heard all about the, the risks and the threats involved in that. But from a health and research perspective, it, it sounds like just such a game changer. I think you're absolutely right. Look, I think whenever there's new technology that comes on board, it has to be sort of be done with caution. But certainly the kind of um, AI technology that's been used in and will be used in this project is, like I say, really only of benefit. It's very low risk in terms of any risk, really. And it's really just sort of adding and assisting neurologists, assisting radiologists, because basically what's happened is AI has been used to develop automated algorithms to sort of measure brain volumes, brain lesion numbers, um, and also the brain volumes themselves. And if we were relying on sort of manual processes, these things simply wouldn't really be practically accessible as part of clinical practice. And having this automation and AI has actually made this possible, that this could be something that we could use in the clinic. Dr. Hardin Bignell, fascinating to hear about your work and we all wish, wish you best of luck with the project and, and hope that you make the gains that uh, we'd all like to see. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for your time.